Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the stream, guys. Thank you all very much for being here. Let's go ahead and get right into things. So, my tentative plan for getting this character some gear is to just do some Emerald Dream stuff. Uh, queue up for Heroics. Uh, they changed Heroics, so I feel like I feel like they said Heroics now were more like Mythic Zero. As far as like their difficulty, as well as the loot that they drop. So, we might do some Heroics. Maybe we'll do some LFR if we get to a gear score where we can do that, but we have a little ways to go. Current gear score is for 342, which is not where we want it to be. Can I even queue up for heroics? <laughs> no, no, we, we need a we need a 402. So we're gonna have to do some questing, do some world quest, and figure that out. The super tricky Nenya, good morning, good afternoon to you guys. Welcome to the stream. Flight stands unified once more. Is it time to go already? Yeah, I'm really excited. I get to show off my amazing dragon riding skills I'm just I'm so good at dragon riding you guys will see and we, we are now gonna touch down and take the first of many breaks as our as our vigor regens Colonel Boomer Buffalo Bill welcome to the stream guys thanks for being here he got to Dragonflight Endgame and quit yeah, I, I did that a couple times. Mm-hmm. I understand the feeling. The only thing that got me, like, back into doing any endgame in Dragonflight was uh, Guardians of the Dream. I, I'd set out to do the Guardians of the Dream story quest, and by doing the story quest and starting to do the side quest and then starting to do, like, the world quest, I figured out like how the gear upgrade system works and, and did a little bit of endgame on the uh, on the shaman. All right, let's see. Do I have uh, vigor? Not not really. Not so much.
Your strength is impressive, mortal. Mandy, good morning, good afternoon, welcome to the stream. What happened to Vanilla? You're not watching any shitty retail? Then go away. <laughs> Retail's what I'm playing today, man. I'm sorry. You don't have to like it. You don't have to be here for it. Uh, best of luck to you. The legendary question is, is this server dead? No, the server's not dead. <laughs> not, that it, not that it matters. But no, the server is uh, Stormrage, which is a pretty big uh, alliance server. I don't know if that guy was just hard because... Well, he was probably hard because I have no idea what I'm doing on this class right now. It'll come back to me. Eventually. Apparently my action bars are locked. That's exciting. There's no no action bars. Okay, okay. Action bars right here. Uh, lock bars? No, absolutely not. Not sure how that got turned on. Things are not now. Why would I want to stop the dream from changing? I think I will wait and see what happens. Try not to die. How much different is the map on retail compared to classic? I I don't know what we're talking about really. Like the the last time the old world changed was in Cataclysm. So the the old world zones are the same in retail as they were in Cataclysm. Obviously, like I'm in a zone that doesn't exist in classic right now, so there there's no comparison here. But if you're talking about the old world, yeah, the Cataclysm revamp was the last time those zones changed, and they're still they're still that way today in retail. Like if, you, if you walk out into Elwyn Forest, you're going to see the Elwyn Forest that was created in Cataclysm. Walk gently unto aid a friend, or to seek renewal. The portals are open! The, the only old world change was the sword? Um, what, what sword? What sword? 
No, I, you must be mistaken. There, were, there have been no changes. And there is no sword. And I, and I don't know what you mean. Is now a good time to jump into Classic, or should you wait for Cataclysm? <laughs> I'm, um... I, I can't, I can't answer that question yet. And the reason I can't answer that question yet is part of the reason why we're here doing this today. Um, I have to, like, sort through my feelings about Cataclysm Classic. And I haven't really sorted through my feelings about... We played the Cata beta over the past couple days. Uh, at, at level 80, to get into the level 80 to 85 zones, and I have a lot of thoughts and feelings about Cataclysm right now, and, um, yeah, I just, like, I haven't processed through it enough to really talk about it. I would say it's a great time to get into WoW. I would say right now, if you want to come into WoW right now, uh, go check out, go check out Season of Discovery. <laughs> I, it, yeah, like, maybe go check out Season of Discovery. If you want, if you want to play Classic WoW, yeah, like, go check out, like, a Vanilla Era server, um... Yeah, I don't know. I would say I would say definitely just play now though. Don't don't wait till Cataclysm. Cataclysm fundamentally changes so much about what makes classic classic. So like I guess maybe if you never if you didn't play in the Cataclysm originally, then maybe it could be fun. But it, like just it it changes a lot about classic. And it's like kind of like the opinion that I I've come to is that it, it, it kind of resembles like a retail light Cla cataclysm cataclysm is like a retail light experience in that it has it, it has some changes in it that lean it like towards being more like more like retail but it doesn't have any of the good things about current day retail It was like, it's like their first attempt at the truly retail formula, except like retail has gotten much better recently. Yeah, that's all I can really say. That's all I can really say. All right, having arcane intellect up could could really help us out. Five percent uh, increase to our intellect. No, no, this I I haven't covered this a million times. You're good. No, I we like I said we played the the beta yesterday and I had kind of a, a, a shitty experience. You could say to put it to put it frank, I just have been having a bad experience with the level eighty to eighty five zones. I haven't really been enjoying the content. Uh, the questing feels like super linear and unenjoyable. The stories are meh. Uh, the, the classes are okay, the paladin was kind of awful, the mage was better, and I, I've just had very, very mediocre experiences with Cataclysm. So these thoughts are new. And I, I should probably, I should probably work through them a bit. Because, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's gonna be important for me to know exactly how I feel about Cataclysm and what my level of investment's gonna be in the expansion, like, pretty soon. We, we've talked in the past like about how like everyone has like that moment in the in the history of WoW where it stops being classic You know or, or we're, we're like the game just kind of got worse for them Everyone kind of has that like time. Oh, you know this right after this happens I don't it's not classic or this isn't classic or nothing but vanilla era is actually classic and there there were uh, quite a few changes made in, in cataclysm that they, it makes me, I'm, it feels like I'm playing just like a uh, retail light version, like old, I'm playing old retail. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest difference, the easiest way to express it with language is that like, when I'm playing Cataclysm Classic, I don't feel like I'm playing Cataclysm Classic, I, I feel like I'm playing old retail. Which is not, which doesn't sound as good because it's not as good. And, and I don't know like how much I'm gonna get invested in in old retail. When I when I could play new retail and see new content, especially like as a person who played Cataclysm when it came out, like I I played Cata. I, I was there. I did it. I was in my mid twenties when I did it, so it's not there's not even like nostalgia. I was an adult, so I had been an adult for a while. So I, I don't even really have nostalgia about Cataclysm. It was just a, a, a expansion that I played when it was out.
Why are so many Sod players leaving Sod? I don't know. I left Sod. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's been going on in Sod. I, I haven't played Sod since the since like the beginning of Phase Two. Jason, you've had some of the same feelings about Cataclysm. Yeah. And so, like, I, I used to think that, like, I would be able to enjoy it just as a different version of WoW, but it's not really, like, a different version of WoW. It's it's retail light. I don't know. Like, I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna play it still. I'm, I'm gonna take one character, I think, to endgame, and, and, then, and then see. But since it is, like, a big step towards being retail, you know, you have things like Transmog. I'm sure, like, pretty soon it'll have its own cash shop for cosmetics. Um, it just feels like the the thing I come back to is like if I'm not playing classic, like if I don't feel like that game is classic anymore, and I'm not in it for the classic experience because the game doesn't feel like classic anymore, then why am I gonna waste time with the end game? The dream must be protected. Why am I gonna waste time with old content end game? Like if I'm gonna if I'm gonna put a lot of time into end game, why wouldn't I just play retail end game? I could play old retail end game, aka Cataclysm Classic end game. You know, raids that have already come out, raids that I, I, everyone already knows. Nothing new to see, nothing new to do. Probably probably not really any new loot to get. Or if I wanted to play Endgame, I could play Retail, and then, you know, I'd get new content. I'd get to see, like, new stuff with, and experience new stuff with the community. Like, see new raids and dungeons, like, with you guys. Um, yeah, and I'm not gonna, that experience isn't gonna exist in, uh, in Cataclysm Classic, aka Old Retail. All that shit's already done. It's already been out. We've already seen it. Everyone already knows about it. It's... I don't know. So that's kind of a little bit of what I've been working through and processing the past, like, 20 hours since yesterday's stream. How's the music and the volume and stuff, guys? I, I haven't booted up retail in a while in the stream, so... Let me know if, like, the music is too loud, or, like, maybe I'm too loud. I don't know, just tell me anything that you need to about the audio. Because I haven't, I haven't been in here in a bit. What are we rocking? 75%, 65%, yeah. Let me know how it is. I am still fill- I am filling this bar slower than I have filled any bar in my life. You left Sod because people wouldn't let you raid? Yeah, like, no one wanted me to raid either as a as a rep pally. So, like, once I realized I was not going to be able to pug as a DT or DPS, I just kind of quit. And I'll go back for Phase 3, and we'll get the 50, and we'll see what the situation is like at 50. You know, we got a 20-man raid. Uh, maybe that will allow more people in. Maybe it won't be as gear-restrictive if there are 20 people to kind of face roll the content. I don't know. Hello. Yeah, I left, I left Saab because, yeah, no one wanted me in a pug, and there wasn't anything else to do as a solo player who doesn't want to PvP. So in Phase 3, we're going to have the Nightmare Incursions. And the Nightmare Incursions are going to be content you can do at 52, as well as, like, leveling up that are, like, solo-friendly. I think you, you just, like, pug a group, but maybe you can go in solo, and then you do some PvE. Volume seems good. Awesome. Thank you. All right, let's get moving. Uh, what do I got going on behind me here? I got some. I got some world quests like right behind me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna run over and do these. I'm just. I'm gonna kind of work on like the main questing here. I'm gonna do side quests. I'm gonna do world quests. I'm gonna do like whatever I can to start getting gear and getting like uh, upgrade items. This new foe is too powerful to face alone. All right, where is Gather this guy? Gather what forces you can find and remove this threat. Ah, uh, this is a quest. See you in your dreams. Patrick, good morning. Welcome to the stream.
Oh, we're supposed to be... <laughs> we're supposed to be on a mount for this. I'm, like, killing them myself. Completely unnecessarily. Yeah, I really think that Seasons of WoW, like if they want to do more seasons, like Season of Discovery, like automated automated tools to group would be welcome for most people. And if you have an automated tool that puts you in a, in a dungeon or an automated tool that checks your gear and puts you in a raid, like you don't have to worry about being a part of the meta. You don't have to worry about like, you know, begging for that invite. Like you can just put yourself in the queue. Look, I want to do the raid. And then you wait 12 minutes and it puts you in a raid like it make it make it cross realm make it cross realm So like more pe more opportunities for grouping and that's really how they should do a season because otherwise you have like the current state of the season Where yeah, it's, it's all about the meta. It's all about you know, how good your logs are what your gear score is like It's not really it's not fun for a lot of solo players. I don't think to like be in that environment uh, We're going after Oxus of the Oxus of the fire. Okay, okay uh, looks like we gotta go this way. Alex, good morning, man. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. It looks like the uh, it looks like the release time for Phase Three tomorrow is going to be like a little bit better for folks in the EU. Uh, it's going to be three o'clock. Well, it's going to be it's still going to be late. Okay, it's still going to be late. But usually they do it at 6 p.m. my time, which I know ends up being in the middle of the night. So I, I think it's going to be like three hours earlier than it usually is. No more beta cat. No more beta cat. No, 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 no. I, I've talked about cat. I've talked about my feelings for cat a little bit this morning, a few minutes ago. I'm sure. I'm sure I'll talk about him again eventually. I think it was pretty obvious to anybody like in the stream by the end of the stream that I was not having a good time. I think that was uh, probably pretty obvious. There were many, many things that I was not enjoying that were like fundamentally a part of what what Cataclysm is. So yeah, right now I'm gonna I'm gonna stay away from the beta right now. Like maybe maybe I would do like raid testing and stuff, but I don't I don't know. For now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stay away from the beta, <clears throat> and we'll and we'll see. We'll go from there. We we still have many many months until until release. So uh, drenching orb acquired. Okay, this is like this is inside of a cavern. Looking for a cave entrance. Set fire to the barrels. Help those trapped within.
You feel like they made the professions more complicated? Yeah, like in a way it, they did. Like in Dragonflight, they, they did make the professions more complicated, it seems like. I, I had a similar experience with leatherworking. I did leatherworking and skinning on my shaman when the expansion came out, and like the skinning was fine, obviously, but like the leatherworking after a bit. After a bit, I guess I just didn't understand where I was supposed to be getting the materials. And like I could have just I could have Googled it. <laughs> Maybe it was like, maybe it was that I was supposed to be buying stuff off the auction house. Like, I just like, I was skinning everything and all that, but I just like, there were certain materials I just never seemed to get a hold of. And, and I needed those to continue leveling up leatherworking. And then obviously with all like the specialty, like talents and stuff now in the, in the professions, it is all a little bit more complicated. I, I, I like that they did a rework. But I do like, I do wish they would have like erred on the side of like a little bit more simplicity. But they seem to, they added, like, complication, which eventually I'll probably just have to watch some, uh, decent profession videos or read a decent guide to figure it all out. The barrels are safe again, thanks to you, friend. I feel like I'm supposed to interact with this guy somehow. But I don't know how to interact with him. I, uh, whoops. I can't, I can't target him with anything. Well, I mean, I can target him, but I can't hit him. Maybe I just chase him. But this seems like a valuable use of my time. I'm sure he's leading me somewhere wonderful. He's quick, too. He's not slow. Okay, well, that's been fun and everything, but apparently my quest turn ends over this way. God, my bags. <laughs> oh, I, I have the scummiest bags, just the absolute worst. Oh my God, I don't even have room. Like, I probably got a couple of rewards from some of the quests we've been doing, and they're probably going right into my mailbox. How, how could my bags be so bad? It's terrible. Eight slot bag, six slot bag, eight slot bag. Oh my gosh, I leveled this character on stream. How did how did you guys let this happen to me? I, I might have to figure out how to set myself some actual bags. Dreams guide you. This is not this is not okay. Also, there's not a vendor like anywhere near here yet. Maybe maybe over this way. Uh let's see, there's gotta be a vendor. It's gotta be. Uh, let's see. 
This is a supplies supplier. They could not have gotten less specific. <laughs> what are you, a supplier? What do you supply? Supplies. What do you supply? Hello. Nothing. Be careful. Here we go. Uh, you're you're not a you're not a vendor. I wish you were just a normal vendor, but you are. You are something else. I, I don't even know what this is. Shipment of goods. A box of useful goods prepared for the Dream Wardens with the assistance of Vashanir. I don't know what this is. I, I played in this zone. I don't know what that is. I, neither of these guys wants to be a vendor. Strangely, the supply supplier is not a vendor. So there's that. Hmm. Um, yeah. Okay. Great. I'm assuming that eventually we'll get some vendors here. I, maybe I have to progress the story a little bit more. Like, in the meantime... I really have to, like... I have to have inventory space. Okay, there we go. I could teleport to the capital city if I if I find a, a teleporter. Then yeah, there maybe I just need to come up the road a little bit more. Yeah, okay, I just I just didn't come up the road far enough. That's all. I was just, yeah, we're fine. I'm, I'm just gonna gra I'm gonna grab everything and uh, we'll just kind of run around and do stuff. Yeah, there's got to be a vendor here somewhere. There's a there's an innkeeper, so uh, repair persons over this way. I'm sorry. Did you need something? Such a witty repartee. I am on. Here we go. in purpose. Did I not train portals? I have no idea. You don't- I don't know. <laughs> Do, you don't train stuff anymore, so probably not, no. Yeah, I, I have portals. We're fine. I, I have portal the Stormwind. Maybe, maybe there are other portals that I have to train, but I, I have that at least. How may I help? Good luck. But yeah, I don't, it's not like I have had a habit of going to trainers on this character since, you know, you don't, you don't typically go to trainers. I'm terrified to look at my map after I have taken all these quests. Okay, it's, that's not, it's not too bad. You're just starting up in retail and you haven't played since, since Legion. Do I have any tips? Um, no, my tip is just to play it. And don't get frustrated if, if, if you don't understand everything. Uh, don't get frustrated if you don't understand, like, the gear upgrade systems. Like, you can learn everything, like, over time. And, like, you have time to go slow and not really worry. But I will say, like, when you get to max level, come, come and do the Emerald Dream stuff. Like, whenever you hit cap. Like, come and do the Emerald Dream stuff. Uh, do the main quest here, do the side quest here, uh, start doing the world questing. That's what allowed me to learn like how to upgrade my gear and about like some of the systems that they have in place at endgame that you don't you don't get exposed to while you level up. We meet again, so yeah, I would say take your time, hit cap, come to the Emerald Dream, 
but don't worry about like if in the if in the meantime Never stuff is kind of like down. confusing don't worry about it don't worry about it there's a lot of systems and a lot of things that got added in, in the patches that aren't going to be like super relevant to you once you hit max level that's why i say come come here as soon as you hit max level this character just hit max level like this character i've done like besides today i've done nothing on them besides cap them they they capped they got a 340 gear score and now we're picking them up at endgame for the first time don't do anything i wouldn't do every action has consequences You're a special one, aren't you? Is that all? We'll meet again. This world is vast and wondrous. Good health to you. Life is all around us. your own trail we're placing silly hats on dreaming druids okay okay sure
can I do for you? I can't wait to see what you do next. Always. If this goes active, we definitely want to do it. No, it looks like he's still sleeping. Okay. Let's let's head out a little bit and work on some of the main progression stuff. Let's go down this way. We'll tackle stuff here to the south. Oh, we're not- we're not killing the wildlife by hammering it with frozen icicles of death. We're tiring them out. So, we're, don't be worried. It's not the scene from Bambi, where the dad dies, and the kid kind of is there to see it. No, we're not- we're not killing them. We're tiring them out. It's, it's fine. Now, granted, after we tire them out, they run off and abandon their young. So, I don't know if what we're doing is better or worse than just killing them. Will the Cataclysm that comes out be the same as the one that came out in the past? Yes, I mean, if, the, if that's what you're asking. It's a, it's a re-release, so just, just like classic TBC and classic Wrath. It's essentially just a re-release of that, of that expansion. And that's not to say that they won't, like, add a couple things. You know, for Wrath of the Lich King, they eventually added the, uh, the harder five-man dungeons. They added the Titan Rune Alpha Beta Gamma Dungeons, so they might add some things here and there, but essentially, yeah, it's, the, it's a re-release of the same thing.
Mike, good morning. Good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Pre-Tam, good afternoon, good evening to you. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Yeah, I saw in a little bit of the news that I watch every day that a lot of people are getting hit pretty hard with some severe weather, huh? Somehow we got lucky here in Michigan. I don't I don't think we're going to see any of it. Hello. Uh, it is just kind of bitterly cold, and that's about it. It's just unseasonably cold and typically gray, but I think we're going to miss this bout of uh of bad weather. Sometimes the lakes protect us from stuff like this. Be careful. May the stars guide you. Ishnu Allah, alone light your path. Be careful. Until next we meet. May the stars guide you. Can I assist you? Goddess of Jordan. Rest until you awaken. Where at in Michigan? The southeastern part. Yeah. Kashi, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome. Arthur, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream, guys. PvP, probably not a lot on this channel. <laughs> I'm not a big PvPer. The closest I've come to WoW PvP recently was uh, we played some Plunderstorm. We played Plunderstorm, and I, well, I, I treated Plunderstorm like uh, a game of hide-and-seek. Because of the, you know, being bad at PvP thing. Uh, I'm assuming I'm looking for a cave entrance. Somewhere. There we go. It's my favorite class to play right now. Uh, it depends on what version of the game we're talking about.
I had fun in it. I didn't play a lot of it because I don't really care about the transmog. So Plunderstorm didn't really have a lot of like motivation internally to like get me to play more of it, but uh, I had fun with what I played. I'm looking forward to whatever, like they said they're going to do a PvE game next. So whatever, I'm hoping that the PvE thing they do is going to be like Vampire Survivors. So Vampire Survivors is one of my favorite games. And if I could play World of Warcraft and Vampire Survivors, I would probably just do that for the rest of my life. Uh, to the exclusion of all other things. So, yeah. I'm, I'm a big fan of them doing anything different and experimenting in any way. And I don't really care like what form the experiments take. As long as like they're not manipulative of the consumer, as long as it's not like pay to win shit. Like I, I am absolutely happy anytime they want to step outside the box and do something different with their game. Because the more often they do that, the more different types of people are going to get exposed to World of Warcraft. And, you know, potentially the more players we could have in the community. So, to me, it's only a good thing when a company is willing to try something completely off the wall. Especially without doing a lot of, like, testing. You know, they're willing just to make a game mode and say, Hey, we're going to release this as a limited time event and we're just going to see how people like it. There's, there's absolutely, like, nothing bad about the fact that it exists.
gently on the earth. Wander where you will. is all around us. John, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Happy Wednesday. Answer the call of the wild. Find your own trail. We are earning those trading post tenders. I don't even know how many I have. Currency. I have 6,000 trading tenders. It seems like a lot. I wonder if I, I, I wonder what the cap is. I don't, I don't want to cap out without spending them. Dream beneath the trees. Rest until you awaken. Ask of me. Rest. Farak will return. 
He cannot control himself for long. Not even with guidance. Marithra, this is your realm. Where shall we send our flights and our people to aid you? We must know what our enemies seek in the dream. There are other places of power, such as the Wellspring Temple and the Eye of Ysera. And the Druids of the Flame have opened the way for them all. I must know why they are here. Then we will begin there. Tyrande, seek them out and uncover their aims. Viranoth, let us speak of the Primalists. There is much to discover. May we all find what we seek. So many possibilities. Farewell. What brings you here? In unity, find strength. Farewell. There might not be a cap. That'd be nice if there just wasn't a cap on it. Uh, let's see. Where do we want to go next? Maybe we head out this way. We'll start down here and then work our way over to the west. Let's turn in the main quest. The dream must be protected. Is it time to go already? We got a, a pretty good headpiece out of that random bag. So I have to make sure that I'm coming into my inventory and opening stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. Doesn't look bad. Yeah, to even be able to do heroics, I have to get to... I have to get to 402. <laughs> We're at 364. So that's like, I kind of want to have that as a goal of today. I don't, I don't know if that's going to be possible or not. I feel like 402 should be possible. Once we start running around and, and collecting some more gear, we should be good. But yeah, I heard that they, they basically changed the way five men's work. So now like the difficulty of a heroic is more like, uh, more like a mythic zero. So basically, like, I guess they, they made heroics harder, and maybe the rewards are better. Uh, but also, like, you don't have timers in Mythic anymore until, like, you're into, like, the higher, like, much higher keys. So it's, like, less time pressure. Although I'm sure people will still play as if there's, like, time pressure. But now you don't have to worry so much about depleting somebody's key. Like, if you're the person dying or, or getting left behind by the group... Rock's incursion has upset the balance of this ecosystem. Ease the frenzy of the local... turtles.
Coaches, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Maybe I'm not supposed to kill these guys. I'm supposed to... Mollify them. Oh, okay, okay, so that's gonna be different than killing them. Uh, let's see. We need to be using this quest item. That would be the smart thing to do. Maybe I have to fight them for a minute? And then I have to use the item? Yeah, we gotta fight them, but then we, we can't kill them. I mean, it makes sense that, like, we're in the Emerald Dream, so it, it makes sense that they're, like, kind of making it so that we're not just running around killing the wildlife. Obviously, we're gonna have to go, like, fight the wildlife. But yeah, a lot of the wildlife quests, they have, like, changed them so that we're not actually killing them all. Which, you know, like, within the context that we're in the Emerald Dream and that these guys are all druids, like, that makes sense. They, they wouldn't be like, hey, just go out and kill everything, buddy! So, like, I guess it makes sense that we're just using an item instead of... Oh, now, see, now the, this guy, we're gonna kill him because he's a big jerk face. Uh, so he's, he's, he's dead. But I like how we're not killing everything. Do world quests give decent item level rewards? I, compared to what I have, yeah, probably. I, I geared my, uh, my shaman's like 435 or 440, and I feel like I geared the shaman mainly by doing side quests and world quests. Well, I didn't really do, I did like two bosses in LFR, and I haven't done any mythics on that character. Uh, so yeah, yeah, like we can see, 415. So I think the way that it works is like, if my gear score were higher, and somebody can tell me if I'm wrong about this. The way I think it works is if my gear score were higher, then these rewards might be a little bit higher, up to a certain threshold. But yeah, right now they're offering, like when they give items, they're offering 415. Which is good, because I need to get to 405 overall. And then I'm hoping that some of the story quests and some of the side quests will also give equivalent level loot. And that's why I'm doing the story quest again and, and the side quests. Sven, good afternoon. Stan, good afternoon to you as well. Welcome to the stream, guys. Yeah, see, I, I keep killing them by accident. It's so easy just to end their lives. I might want to kill the world boss. Yeah, this guy? Yeah, we, we will. We'll, we'll work our way up this way. And we'll definitely kill him. What does the world boss drop? He drops uh, potentially really good gear for us. Pretty sure it's a very high item level. But I, I don't know if it's a guaranteed chance to drop. Although I feel like every time I killed him on the shaman, I feel like I got something from him. Yeah, but it might not be guaranteed. If I had to pick one class to play for the rest of my life, what would it be? Ooh, that's, that'd be horrible. If I could only play one class in World of Warcraft, I would just—I'd probably go play a different game. 
there's a few classes that I really like. I, I, don't, I don't know if I could pick one in, in this type of scenario. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if I could. Because yeah, even if you like a, a class today, you know, the next next expansion could change the class fundamentally. So that'd be a tough one. Nevertheless, you have brought peace to the beaches for now. Thank you. The enemy encroaches upon Kansu's grove. Halt their advance, lest they gain another foothold. There you go. Yeah, if you had to pick a class, you, you just go play Final Fantasy. Yeah, the cool thing about Final Fantasy is that you could be all the classes on the one character. This might be similar to the turtles. Maybe I have to DPS them down a little bit. Yeah, okay. We have to DPS them down a little bit and then we use the item. Are my settings maxed out? Like, a lot of them are maxed out. I don't know if they're all maxed out. Uh, let's see. Oh, damn. no, see, I'm, I'm only at 150% render scale. Like, I could crank that up to 200%, but even if I cranked it up to 200%, you're not going to notice a big difference. Uh, shadow quality's only on good. I must have been in Veldraken. Let's see what that's going to do. Yeah, like, everything's pretty much maxed out. Shadows were, shadows were only on good. I usually, when I go to Veldraken, I turn my shadows way down. And that takes me from being at like 30 FPS to going up to like 50 something. Because yeah, Veldraken is uh... Ugh. My ground clutter, I don't like the ground clutter up high. Some people like this, I really don't. I'm not sure why that's not at 10. Like I don't really care for all the ground clutter. I don't think it adds a lot to the game. I think a lot of times like it gets in the way of being able to see your actual character and that, that really annoys the crap out of me. If the ground clutter were like knee high, Instead of like the ground clutter being literally seven feet tall, then I would probably like I wouldn't mind as much Like the flowers are nice because they're relatively short although some of them do go up to our waist 
but yeah, apparently my shadows were kind of down. I, I can't really tell a difference. Like, to me, it looks exactly the same as it did on good. Like, I, I can't tell any difference. Let's see, can I can I tell a difference? Yeah, I guess I can see like Oh okay, yeah. It's not very impactful. Like when am I looking over here? Not often. I'll leave it there for now. Do I have any plans to play FF14? No, not really. I, I played up to the not not Endwalker, but I, I beat the one before that. Shadowbringers, I guess it was. But I, I never played Endwalker myself, so I don't. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna revisit it. I don't think anybody needs to see me play Final Fantasy XIV. It, it's such a story-driven game, and it, it's not really like it's not really an MMORPG. It, it to me like it, it lacks like a gameplay loop that even remotely feels like an MMO. It just feels like you're playing a very linear JRPG. Which is fine, it's an amazing JRPG. Um, but that's not really like what I'm looking for. I'm so bad at finding cave entrances in this game. I really wish like the cave entrances were clearly marked on the minimap. I can never find them. It started to be like a really big issue like back in Legion and it just like it got worse and worse. I'm like the worst person at finding how to get into a cave. Yeah, I have I have no idea. Some somewhere there's a way to get into that place, but I I'm not going to bother with that right now. We are going to come over this way instead. Uh, let's see. Well, that didn't happen. This new foe is too powerful to face alone. 
Gather what forces you can find and remove this threat. I guess we're just waiting for the group to come together? I don't know. We need, like, a bunch more people. Dustin, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. I never would have thought it would take this long to put a group together for this guy. It's kind of crazy. Kind of makes me want to go do something else. Um, we've got something up here that looks like a side quest. I should probably go after, like, some of the world quests that give us gear. There's only two of them up. One of them is for a ring. One of them is a chess piece. It's crazy. I wonder, like, I should just leave this party and just, like, wait. Because, like, being in this party no is not, is not helpful. Yeah, see, there's, there's other, there's other groups going out. Like, I need to be in a group that actually has people that's actually going to fight the guy. Here we go. Alright, yeah, that, I was just in a weird group that was not being active at recruiting, I guess. I don't really know. You saw a goldfish at the store today and thought of me. Ooh, ouch. Fucking burn, man. <laughs> I, I'm assuming this is like maybe a dig at my attention span. That's what I'm assuming. 460. 460. That's, that's a pretty big upgrade. I'll take it. That's how it came off. <laughs> I'm just I'm just telling you how it came off. <laughs> it's like Robert's playing retail today, and then you like I saw a goldfish at the store. <laughs> I thought of you. It was better as a dig at my attention span. I know, I, I figured it out. The snack that smiles back. We talked about it a couple days ago on stream. I, I'm, I'm familiar with the snack that smiles back. You're not mean. Uh, I wouldn't have been mean. It wouldn't have been mean. It would have been kind of funny. If saying that to somebody would be mean, then I am a mean person. Because I, I might say that to somebody. <laughs> I, I might say that somebody and think it's like a harmless joke pointing out pointing out though one of their flaws which in my case would have been my short attention span but no one has ever said that I'm a nice person so that would make sense Yeah, if you, if you yeah, if you have character at endgame, you have you have to come here and do this stuff because uh, for solo content, I think it's some of the best gear that you're gonna get like for solo content. This guy is kicking my butt.
how's my day going? It's going well. Yeah, I've been having fun today. I, I've been ha I've been having more fun today than I was having yesterday. So it's it's a good day. Uh, I, I don't have any of the crappy weather that lots of people are getting around the country, besides the fact that it's uh, a little cold outside. So yeah, it's it's going good. I'm taking all kinds of just incidental damage. I think these totems are hitting me. I'm probably standing in lava lots of the time. Oh shit, okay, okay, this is great. This is how you get killed in retail. Let's pop some cooldowns. Uh, let's see. Okay, okay, let's do this guy. Okay, that worked. I, I have to rem I have this Comet Storm ability that I like basically never use. I should probably just put it down here on my actual action bar. Maybe I'll see it. And I'll think about it a little bit more often. It's on a really short cooldown, and I should probably be using it a lot more than I am. Exiled, Archdruid Staghelm threw open the gates to the Firelands. He had found a new home for those that sought to reclaim our birthright. He would not know the touch of life eternal. The so-called champions killed him for his passion, for daring to question the established order. There's gotta be Drew to the Flame Transmog. Yeah, there has to be. Like, I'm not a big Transmog person, so I personally, I don't know. But I feel like there probably is some, like, pretty good Drew to the Flame Transmog. If there's not, then yeah, big opportunity missed. Many streams converge into the lake below the eye. See what treasures they have carried into the depths. Oh damn, suddenly I have I have no HP. Not really sure how that happened. Thought I was fine to land here, but apparently not. Oh, the dungeon changes aren't in yet. Okay, for some reason, I thought all the changes were already in. I'm going to do some heroics anyway, as soon as I can. But yeah, I thought, um... 
I thought season four already started and that all those changes were already in the game, but again, I, I don't play retail every day. So I, maybe I'm just misinformed. The start of season four, which hasn't happened yet. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's good to know. Like, I'm still going to start doing the heroics because I, I need to start learning the five mans because I don't know them, but... Yeah. So when is the when is the start date of season four? April 23rd. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, for some reason, I, I'd seen all the news about it and stuff, and for some reason I thought that the, the season had already started. I guess, like, what I need to remember is that when a patch comes out, like, that does not necessarily mean the season has started. It, it's a slightly different cadence. Or, or maybe, is, is season 4 supposed to come come out with patch, uh, with point seven, or Or is the season start and the patch dates just completely disengaged? I don't know why, I just thought they were the same date. Okay, so the, they're not, they're not, they're not the same. So the point seven will be later. Right, I was assuming we, we would have like four or five, maybe even six more weeks before the next uh, mini patch. It's gonna be a quality life new story and probably like a new a new game mode. You know how like how they did Plunderstorm. I, I've been seeing a lot of news they're gonna do like some there's some kind of PVE event. What is this buff that I have that's killing me? I need I need to figure this out. <laughs> uh because I don't know what this is. Can I can I get rid of it? Okay, let's let's get rid of it. We can unclick it, so let's unclick it. It's like literally killing me. I don't think I can eat down here, can I? No, unfortunately I have no way to restore my HP. Bummer. I need- I need bandages. I need to do, like, first aid. The buff was killing me. Like, who ever heard of a buff that kills you? Like, come on. That's incredibly rude. Yeah. I'm never gonna be able to get up to this person. <laughs> I don't have like I don't have nearly the amount of vigor that one would need unless are they over here? No. Wait, maybe. Um yes, okay, it, it is him. I thought it was trying to get me to go all the way up top. Like I'm never gonna make it up there. Alright, what did we get for that one? We got a robe. So that's 415 over our 381. What's that? Oh, that's cool looking. That's not bad. It's not it's not great. <laughs> but it's not bad. There there are like things I would change about it. That would just make it better, but that's okay. Uh what else do I have in my inventory? Anything I need to Oh, what am I doing here? Spark of the dreams. I don't know what I've done. I've created a spark of dreams. Provides the following property. Set starting item level based... Oh, this is a crafting thing. Yeah, I don't... I'm not... I don't craft. I don't, I don't have any professions, I don't think. Uh, okay, wrong. I grabbed... I grabbed tailoring and enchanting at some point. So, like, I should probably be going back... And, you know, like, disenchanting stuff. That... That'd be a good idea.
I can use it without professions. How how would one use this? <laughs> I I don't I don't know what I would do with this, I guess. Via crafting orders. Yes, I saw a crafting order guy. See, crafting orders I'm not at all familiar with. Even when I did all this stuff on the shaman and I, I did some endgame stuff on the shaman, like I did not interact with crafting orders. So that's like an entirely new system that I'm gonna have to figure out. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's good. I'll, I'll keep a hold of stuff like this. Because that seems quite powerful. 450 to 463. Okay. Uh, what next? Let's go grab this ring. This might require me to fly up higher than I'm capable of. It's pretty simple. You just need some mats. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'll check it out. I'll check it out today. And that way I can start to figure it out and actively use it. Even denizens of the dream sometimes have trouble sleeping. Luckily, we take sleep quite seriously. Answer the call of the wild. Okay, uh, she wants me to do something. I, I don't know what. I didn't hear her call anything out. I, I didn't see her call out anything. We only use the best ingredients. Okay, okay, cool, good. Uh, let's begin. Okay, we're gonna begin. The root archery produce a restorative and mellow white sap. Um, I guess... Okay, she was fine with that. Uh, water... Was right here. I wish she would just say the name of the item and not have like a whole like preamble sentence before it. Of oh, the sap again. Berries. Okay. Thank you, Chad. Nice. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Are few things as important as good sleep. Watch over you. Farewell. I have to say, like, the music here, combined with, like, the visuals, it's, it's a very soothing zone. They make it very easy to want to run around and do stuff here. Because everything is quite pleasant.
Good luck, friend. Be careful. Aso, that's awesome, man. Thanks for being here and checking out the stream. I appreciate it. Madras. Goddess, watch over you. Am I planning on trying the war within Alpha? I, I don't think they're going to invite me to play the war within Alpha. <laughs> Especially since I haven't even pre-purchased the game yet. I'll be really lucky to get a... I'm hoping to get a beta invite when, when beta starts. But no. I, I think that, you know, only very certain people are going to get into like an alpha type situation and I don't think I'm on the radar for that type of consideration. Hello. Farewell. Del Madras. Goddess, watch over you. Good luck, friend. No, an, an alpha is not ever going to be public. The alpha is like the testing that happens before the beta. And so even with like a beta, like a closed beta, you would need an invite to it. So yeah, like eventually there will be a beta and maybe I'll get an invite to the beta. Like I got invited to the cata beta, so you know, I'll have to hope for the best. But no, alpha is going to, alpha is always a much smaller group. And I don't think it implies, it's not just internal testing, but it might be like internal, friends and family, it, 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 probably some content creators will get access to the alpha. You know, like content creators that Blizzard likes and cares about. I speak but it might just be mainly internal and friends and family for alpha, I'm not sure. There is a time for patience, and a time for action. Our foes will know our fury. I 
feel like I need a water bucket. Where is my water bucket? Fire burns. So you've arrived at last. I had hoped to meet you. You get beta Before access if you pre-order. Is best. that is that true? I thought they stopped I thought they stopped doing stuff like that. Early access is not beta access, also. So if, if it's early access, that's I'll have to check. But yeah, I thought they had stopped doing stuff like that. Let's see. I will check. I should also fight this guy. So looking at the Epic Edition, which is the one that I would get, it's the most expensive one that they offer, $89.99 USD. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, beta access and early access dates subject to change. Available on or before December 31st, 2024. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna get the epic one anyway, because I, I think that's like that's like a four-day early access. So like the game really comes out on that day. And then if you don't pay $90, you just get to play the game late. You're playing the game late at that point. If you're gonna buy the game at all, like you gotta save up money and just buy the actual epic edition. It's like kind of crappy, but it is what it is. Uh well, let's see. You also get tendies now, that's funny. Three day early access. So yeah, if you the only way you get in when the game comes out is if you buy the Epic Edition. If you purchase any other edition, you are gonna be three days behind everybody who paid for the Epic Edition. The game is gonna release and you will not play it for three days because you will not have three day early access. Uh, yes, and then the Epic Edition also gets access to the beta. So yeah, apparently I have to pre-purchase this thing, like, like, soon. Like, I gotta do it this month, because I'm pretty sure the beta is gonna start sometime in May. Okay, good to know. Cool, cool, cool. Early access is a cash grab? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Unless, unless you're fine playing the game, like, at three days, because everyone's gonna be max level, people are already gonna be pushing mythic keys, like, if you're a person that cares about that, if you're, if you're affected by FOMO, which most people are, drastically affected by FOMO. FOMO is uh, a very easy way to get money out of people. Uh, then yeah, you're gonna be compelled to, to buy the the, the, real, the real version of the game if they want you to pay the $90, you know? They're, they value their game at $90 and they're trying to incentivize you to also value it at $90. Unassuming adventurer, free to act as you please. We were free once, unbound by the fetters of mortality. Perfect beings, blessed by the world's stewards. I really feel like I'm supposed to have like that water bucket mechanism. Maybe I'm just not looking around properly. It, it feels like I'm supposed to be able to put out these fires in, in order to better like navigate the area. Is 
It's not, it's not, it doesn't have to be good or bad. It's just basic, it's the way companies do business. They incentivize the consumer to spend more money. There's lots of ways to incentivize a consumer to spend more money. Some of them are more manipulative than others. I don't really like FOMO. But, you know, if you're affected by FOMO, then that's your own problem. Like... Like, for me, it's worth it to pay the $90 and to get into the game three days early, but they're also offering you beta access. So, you know, if there's a value there if you're a person that wants to get into the beta and if you're a person that wants the, the early access. A cash grab is when a company does something in the short term to take money without offering a, a viable product in the long run. A cash grab is when something comes out and then they get a bunch of money from people and then the product or the service quickly disappears, dries up, or is fundamentally changed. That's what a cash grab is. What, what you're seeing is that you might not like their marketing practices, you might not like how they're trying to take advantage of FOMO, but that's totally different from like a cash grab scenario. It's important just not, not to just bandy words about. These guys are kicking my ass. Diablo 4, they did the same thing. Yeah, now Diablo 4 was a cash grab. There you go. See? See, we, we, we figured it out. <laughs> Diablo 4 was a cash grab because Diablo 4 sucked. And so a lot of people stopped playing Diablo 4 right away after paying the $90 to play it on time. Yeah, like Diablo 4 was more of a cash grab. There you go. We got there. Yeah, because the game because the game wasn't good and like not a lot of people liked it. So and maybe the game's gotten better now, but yeah, it was initially like a big cash grab. You know, you pay your ninety bucks, you get to play when the game comes out, and then you realize the game is not for you or not very good. You don't like it, and then you stop playing it. Diablo Four is is the only game that I've ever purchased to play on this channel that I've regretted, like instantly regretted. We could find that world again, if you wished. An unending world, preserved in flame. Now, to be fair, I'm sure that in their own way, like, the devs on Diablo 4 are probably trying to make it a better game. I don't think they intended to, to make a bad game. I don't think they intended to make a game that, like, people didn't like. Well, they did it anyway, but yeah. I intention, intention matters a little bit in things like this. beginning to think you had lost your way. Morana, you've set an entire barrow ablaze. What madness is this? Tell it's the madness type of madness. What other madness is it? We cannot save our people. It's the mad madness. Will alone, night warrior. Our people have seen enough forests burn, Morana. Whatever these fanatics promised you, it is not worth the toll the Firelands would exact. I what, what do I think of Cataclysm compared to Wrath of the Lich King? The not favorably. The fire will return to us. The eternity that your draconic keepers continue not to very hold favorably. for themselves. Wait, Norana, I... I knew Norana once, champion. I thought we were going to fight her. Apparently I she hesitated. just teleported out. It will not happen again. I watched that all play out again Join for no reason. Surface, and we will attempt to track her down. Yeah, I talked about it a little bit earlier on the stream, like how I feel about Kata after playing in the beta a little bit. And uh, I'll probably make a thoughts video, like, pretty soon. I have to actually write out my thoughts and, like, kind of figure a couple things out before I, like, say a bunch. But, yeah, it's... 
I, I realized like for me like Cataclysm might be the tipping point when like it's not really it's not classic anymore it doesn't feel like classic it isn't classic uh, but also it's it's not retail because there's nothing new to do there's nothing new to see it's all stuff that I have seen before uh, so yeah I don't know and then, like, the thing with Classic is, like, you couldn't really experience that content in retail anymore, like, before Classic came out. With Wrath of the Lit, with the, with Cataclysm, like, you could see all those zones, like, all the zones were still there, you know. The zones were still in the game, you could go do them whenever you wanted, you can do Cataclysm time walking, like... So, yeah, I'm not, I don't know. Light your way. Uh, a cloak? A cloak could be good. I don't really even know what stats we want. Crit Strike and Haste sound good. I'm gonna take Crit Strike and Haste. I really don't know, like, as a Frost Mage or any kind of mage, what stats we prefer. We're, get we're getting more tendies. It feels good. I'm earning tendies that I, I may never... I may never spend them. We should go to the trading post eventually. And, uh, and try to spend some of these. I've got 6,200 of them. Yeah, I think there are probably a lot of people that wish they would at least keep a Wrath server open. It's hard to think that they'll go back and ever keep like a like a TBC server open. But uh, yeah, they're not going to though. All the Wrath servers are going to roll up into Cataclysm, and then that's going to be it. What would you ask of the Kaldori? There's already like so many different ways to play WoW. Like, the, I, the I bet voice. the last thing they want to do is like spread the player base out even further than it already is. We will fight to protect our future. I could probably do like some follower dungeons and that might give me like better gear, you know? Like I don't I don't know if that's like a possibility or not. Um but yeah, it could be. Maybe I should just start do I wonder what level of loot drops from just like a random five man. Like not even a heroic. I, I think I wanna find out like what item level of loot drops from a regular dungeon. I, I haven't done a lot of the five mans in, in Dragonflight, so I'm not super familiar with any of them. Might be a good idea to get a little bit more acquainted with them. Yeah, they they did they did TBC wrong by cutting it a year short. But they they were in a real pickle, you know. Shadowlands had fallen over. Nobody liked Shadowlands, the content wasn't there. They had the whole scandal going on at Blizzard because we found out that, like, some people at Blizzard are bad. And so they were like, what do people like? People love Wrath of the Lich King. Let's push that out right now and get that into people's hands ASAP so they stop hating us as much. So yeah, they, they kind of got, like, pushed into that. I didn't see the option for a follower dungeon. I, I'm not opposed to doing a follower dungeon. I didn't. I didn't see it. That's kind of the weird thing. Oh, I, I wasn't even looking. It's at the top. It's the first option: follower dungeon. We'll we'll do a random one with players, and we'll see what kind of loot we get out of that. And then we'll do a follower dungeon, and we'll see what kind of loot we get out of that. I wonder if the loot is comparable. It's a 10 minute wait for a normal group, you know, that's that's quite a ways. Follower dungeon would probably happen instantly. It'll be the same item level for a follower dungeon as a normal dungeon? Oh, snap. 
Okay, well that's good to know. Yeah, I guess like if you were just really hard up for gear, you just do a bunch of follower dungeons. This wasn't 10 minutes though, we got in in a couple minutes. Nel Neltheris, okay. We got a few bosses, we got another level. We got some quests. The Isles have awakened. The quests are dropping the shittiest gear I've ever seen, so you know, obviously leveling gear. Alex, you did a follower dungeon and you didn't get any loot? D did your followers get loot? <laughs> That's so harsh. You do a follower dungeon and like, you don't get any loot. Oh no, that would be terrible. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be a bad first experience. For sure. It's like, because they're not rolling on it, so why are you not getting at least some guaranteed loot? You, you think like some of it would be guaranteed. At least one piece, you know? There's a quest in Veldraken for five time walking dungeons? For some gear? Yeah, it's Legion time walking, right? Maybe we'll check that out. People on the forums were saying that they're not technically meant for you to get geared, but to learn the instances. I think that's kind of horseshit. I, I mean, obviously they're a good way to learn the instances, that's true, but I, I do think that just as any dungeon is meant for you to have a chance at gear, I think the same thing would be true of follower dungeons. Otherwise, they just would not offer any loot rewards at all, you know? If, if they weren't meant for gear, they just wouldn't offer any gear. They'd just be, here's a training dungeon, you can learn the route, uh, but you don't get anything for it. So I think they're as much for gear as like doing what I'm doing right now. Which just means like you're gonna ha you have a chance at like lower level gear like uh, yeah I think it's silly to say they're not meant for ge gearing at all like that yeah it doesn't make sense obviously they are meant to like give you kind of like a slower paced view uh, of a dungeon run so that's true as well. I I bet your followers don't lead you this way. This is, this is probably not the follower dungeon route, if I had to guess.
intruders! Where have you come from? Now Thoris belongs to the Kalashi now! Uh, we got a trinket 421 I mean 421 is not bad for like a regular five man that's actually really good I'll take it I, I feel like just doing like a regular five man with other people is an okay way to learn the five mans like there's not a lot of stakes even if you're kind of messing up or you're trying to learn your class you know you it's not like you're gonna hold the group back it's not like you're gonna deplete a, a mythic key like the follower dungeons are fine i guess like if you're really really anxious about like interacting with other people in this kind of setting i guess it could be okay but this seems like an okay way at least this way you get to see like how actual people actually do the run you do a bunch of the follower dungeon, then like, I don't know, it's it's probably not going to be the same when you get into an actual group. And like, especially as a DPS, it's always nice to at least be able to compare to other players and just see like, you know, what kind of numbers am I doing? Even if like, even if like me, you're not a really like numbers driven person. It's nice to know if you're at least being like semi-competitive or if you're like way behind, maybe there's something you need to know about your spec or your rotation. The only issue is when you die. When you die in like in like a player dungeon, 
Yeah, I mean, sometimes people res you, sometimes they don't. It's like hit or miss. What add-ons do I use for retail? Uh, like, basically nothing. I have details for, like, DPS meters. Uh, I don't really think we're using anything else. Yeah, I'm using details and immersion, which is, like, that changes the quest log. But yeah, I'm not using any, like, real, like, UI or gameplay specific add-ons. Why Frost? Because I level this Frost and I have fun as Frost. Eventually I'll probably try Fire, uh, but I, I enjoy the button pressing and the procs that Frost offers. I just have fun with it. And it seems to do okay DPS. We're not, like, terribly far behind anybody here, so it's okay. Our gear really sucks, and that's an issue. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> I have no idea. We require skill in uh, in blacksmithing. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I don't know what that's about, but we don't get to loot it, apparently.
At last, Emberstoke! The forges will ring stay your hand or taste the flame! Roast in flames! An embarrassment of riches! We got some proto Drake ears. Just what you want to drop off a boss. All right, and that was it. Well, that was nice. I uh, I enjoyed that. We didn't do too terribly. We managed to out DPS the tank, and so that's kind of my that's kind of my low bar for like whether or not we achieved. And yeah, I'd say we achieved. The gear score is slowly, slowly inching towards uh, being able to do, like, at least heroics. So that's cool. Um, okay, I think I just got a random 421 trinket. 473 intellect. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna complain. We'll, we'll replace the 311 trinket. And we'll gain a bunch of points on our gear score. So, yeah, very cool. Uh, we got a cloak here that I didn't notice. That's better than what we have on. That takes us up to 392. Uh, any other goodies hiding that I just didn't realize I had... I think that's it. All right, what do we have? Um, is this this is Oldeman? Oh God, it's the only one that I have done a bunch of the time.
To reclaim our legacy, we Aspects must restore the powers we relinquish to defeat Deathwing. How's the mage feeling compared to the mage in Wrath? The, this version of the mage is the funnest version of the mage that I have played. Uh, now, the Wrath mage is fun, but this is a lot of fun. Like, I don't know. It's the button pressing is super engaging for me. I, I like I'm like I like the procs on the screen and stuff like that. You know, I, I appreciate like stuff like this. This is okay. Now I hit this button, so it's not like a static rotation that I'm working through, but it's like it's more reactive. I enjoy the shaman for the same reason. It's like it's it's a very reactive class. You're not just working through like a static list of abilities, or you're just you're re reacting to what happens during the fight. Eat my shield. Eat my shield. He said. It's inappropriate. Possibly the worst time for me to blow that ability. Time to move this thing. Okay, okay, we give up. You know, I think that puzzle actually helped clear my head. What's a bride, stranger? We'll lend you a hand after we get our bearings. I gotta save up some gold and like round up all my gold. I have to get myself a transmog mount, like one of the mammoths that has a transmog guy on it, so we can actually have like decent transmog most of the time. So we, we are looking, we're looking a little bit weird. It's not a bad look, it's just not the look I would choose. Come 
mustache! Another locked door! Leave this to me! Geo charge! Oh, oh, my head! Well, at least this lunkhead got the door open. <laughs> you better go Are most classes out. in retail designed to have a, a reactive rotation? I, I don't know that that's true. I, I felt like on the arcane mage there was like a very specific rotation that we were supposed to do and it maybe it was going to be complicated i don't know i guess i've only really played the mage and the shaman at endgame i got the i got the warlock to max level but i never played endgame the warlock felt like it just had kind of a rotation of buttons to work through but maybe that's only certain specs I feel like there are probably different flavors of spec. There are probably specs that are very reactive, and there are probably specs that are more static. At least, if I was designing a game and I was designing classes, I would design I would design classes both ways. I would have some classes that were highly reactive. I would have some classes that followed more of a static rotation, and then I would have like specs that were in between. And in that way, you appeal to like different players. I don't know if that's how they do it or not. Yeah, some classes and specs are more reactive than others. That's kind of what I felt. Like, I'm sure they all have some reactive attributes. Like, something is going to pop up at some point and tell you to do something. But I, I think that there are some that are more and some that are less. I feel like the Frost Mage and the Enhancement Shaman are on, like, the very reactive end of the spectrum. I feel like Pally is, like, somewhere in the middle, and then I'm, I'm not sure about any other specs. I haven't, haven't played them. Even healers are like that. Holy Priest is very reactive, while Discipline Priest is very proactive. See, Alex, you find it annoying. I enjoy it. <laughs> uh, I enjoy it more because, like, the alternative is I'm supposed to be doing something very specific, and I'm not doing it on time. That's, like, the alternative. It's like, so, yeah, see, that's what I mean when I think they, they design classes to appeal to different people. I love playing Whack-A-Mole. That's one of my favorite games at the arcade. Yeah, I'll, I'll play me some whack-a-mole. I, I, I like it. It keeps me engaged, and like I said, I don't have to worry so much about doing the exact right button at the exact right, like, rotation. Like, do this, then that, then this. Oh, I messed up. I didn't do this. Oh, I screwed up the whole rotation. And so, like, the more static rotations, like, I feel like I would be worse at those. Whereas, like, if, if I'm pressing some buttons and I'm, I'm mainly reacting to stuff, I can react to stuff all day. I, I can't often nail, like, a perfect rotation if that's what's required. So I, I appreciate having the option of like these kinds of specs. Enemy marked. Which is something that you don't get in other versions of WoW. Like you don't get these like really reactive specs. System shut down Yeah, everyone everyone's gonna be different, right? You're annoyed by it, I like it, like everyone's gonna be different, and that's good. Uh we got some wrists. 421 wrists. Whatever it is you folks are after. That's a huge upgrade. We're going from 252. To 421. Oh, we're we're getting close. We're getting close to uh to doing heroics. I shouldn't be as excited about that as I am, but I am excited about it.
what exactly is a follower dungeon? A follower dungeon is where you do the dungeon and it's you and then four NPCs. And the NPCs fill the other roles in the group and then you lead, I guess either you lead them or they lead you through the dungeon. It's just a dungeon without other players. Yeah, apparently it's the same item level of possible loot as doing a regular with players. Oh, tricky. I can't- I couldn't blink out of that one. That was tricky. I thought I'd be able to blink out. You can choose to have them follow you or you can follow them. That's really cool for people that just feel completely lost but they want to learn the dungeon. It'd probably be good for like a beginning tank. To like first have them lead you through and then like then you lead them through and just kind of learn like where to go. As a DPS, like, I'm fine just to follow the tank. Like, I don't necessarily have to know where to go right now. Like, there's- the, but there's no way I could be a tank without learning the, the routes and stuff. That would be cool. For classic dungeons and elite areas. Yeah, it's a, it's a neat feature to have. To be sure. Final Fantasy XIV did it first. I think they've had theirs in the game for a while now. You can also have some players and some NPCs. Oh, I didn't know that. So if it's just like you and your buddy, like the two of you could queue up with a couple of followers. That's really neat. I didn't know that. will have to deny your queen her prize. The disc you seek will be mine. I think that these ones are only the Dragonflight dungeons right now. Is that right? I don't know if eventually they want to expand it to all dungeons and retail, but I think right now it's only Dragonflight ones. Yeah. And then we can probably just expect that going forward, like, into War Within, that you're gonna have that, like, right away in War Within. But I don't know if they'll ever, like, go back and make it for, like, every dungeon. It would be cool if, they, if you could, because then you could, you could dungeon grind up with your followers. <laughs> like, if you wanted to level that way. It'd be cool that that, that that would be, like, an option for people. to time, just as you are about to be. In all timelines, you fail to stop me. Raid followers for older raids, so you get to see them. That would be cool. I mean, you, you could get to high level and just, like, power through them, I guess, to some extent, but... It'd be cool if you can do them, like, when they're more level appropriate. Uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it for this one. Music got really, really epic. And really loud.
I am gonna have to head back to town soon and empty the inventory. Just making sure that we didn't get any random items that I didn't see. Oh, we can do we can do heroics now. Let let's let's start doing that. It is my honor to serve Elun. Our foes will know our fury. Elun, light your way. We are the children. Uh, I feel like before I speak to her and, and progress this anymore, I do I do want to hearth out. Oh, let's do we have time to hearth and vendor? I think no, yeah, we, we're good. Okay. Yeah, let's hearth out and vendor before we do anything else. Uh, we got Halls of Infusion. I should start, like, memorizing their names and, like, forming some kind of knowledge about them. That would probably be a good idea. Blanzen, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream.
Is there a playlist for this mage? Yeah. There is. Uh, we leveled him... We leveled around stream. It was uh, seven, seven episodes. I think the last one we did was like a six hour stream when I was just trying to get it capped. And then this is the first time we've touched the character since we hit level cap. We started off today at a, at a 340 gear score. And we're up to a 403. Uh, he's summoned out some devices. I wonder, I'm probably supposed to DPS these down. Maybe not. Maybe maybe ignoring them was the way to go. A small victory. I build. Me. I so the heroics are dropping a four twenty eight.
build a new world free from their corruption. So hiding, hiding behind the pillars would have been a better idea. Monica, good afternoon, good evening to you. Welcome to the stream. like we lost some people okay there's the warrior and yeah we we had lost a couple people not sure how we lost them but we did Oh, this is bad. It wasn't that bad. Oh my god, I unlocked a great vault slot? No. No. Guys, I don't think I've ever unlocked a great vault slot since there has been a great vault. Unless it may be back in BFA. If BFA had a great vault, then maybe back in BFA I would have. But not any time after BFA. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't even know where the great vault is. It's probably back in Veldraken somewhere, I assume. Do I have a portal to get to Veldraken from here? Because that's what I really need. <laughs> Alex says, I don't know what the Great Vault is. Uh, you do, like, certain content, and then you can loot some stuff from, uh, from a chest. Yeah. I, do, do I have a, do I have a teleport here back to Veldraken, and vice versa? And if so, like, where would that be? I haven't seen any, like, obvious portals. No. Yes and no. Okay. <laughs> good, good, good. 
Um, I don't even know if I have the flight point. Can you can you make a red skinned uh, night elf? And if not, why? Veldragon Bank, but won't be available until next weekly reset. I don't even know how that works. But okay, I'll take your word for it. Blood Moon, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. remains to be done on your mark consider it done look at the dungeon finder menu there's a tab that will show me what i've unlocked for the week then i pick that item up on tuesday okay okay let's see i don't know <laughs> i don't see it okay there it is well oh okay okay this is complicated we're, we're several menus deep yeah return to the great vault to make your selection okay where was that hiding? That was... It was in the looking for group. I have to click on PvP, though, to, to get to it. That's, that's a little weird. You'd think they would just have it, like, hanging out... ...on the side of all the menus? Maybe... Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Oh, I can go there, too. Okay, so I don't have to go to PvP. I can go to the PvP or the Raid tab. Or Mythic tab. I've never seen this before, so. Cool, cool. Thank you. I think I, I'm going to do some reading on fire spec, and then maybe next time we play, we we will try fire. I want to I want to read on, up on a spec, and I want to practice it a little bit on my own before I even try to press the buttons in front of you guys. I did do LFR on my Shaman a long time ago. Well, I did the last two bosses on my Shaman, but this would have been like a month and a half, two months ago that this would have happened. Oh dear God, I have friends.
Yeah, you don't, I don't think you have to go in there to get the reward. So to get the reward, you have to go to like a physical location. But yeah, in order to look at it. But then again, like, if you're a person that does this content, then you know where this is. You know what I mean? It, now, if you're like me and you've never really done the content, then you have no idea. But yeah, to actually get the loot, you have to go to an actual place in Veldraken. Uh, near the bank or in the bank. The music is really good. I want to hear it a little bit louder in my ears. I'm going to turn my volume up and I'm going to lever it down a little bit in OBS. Let me know if the music uh, is too loud. But I'm going to turn your guys' volume down a little bit. I'll put that up some. There we go. That should be okay. A powerful creature is soon to appear, okay. Yeah, I haven't done either of these yet. I thought players had to do something in the world to like start to get these guys to spawn. This one's at 32%, but it, it doesn't look like anybody's working on it anymore. It's kind of stopped at 32%.
I live my life in the shadows. See, this is why I sometimes say like too much ground clutter is not a, is not a good thing. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna turn my ground clutter back down a little bit. We have it maxed out. I just it's too tall. The clutter is fine. It just needs to be about half of the height that it currently is. I, I'm gonna put it down to like a six. That that's yeah. She's still standing right in the middle of it, but it's a little bit better. My blade stays sharp. The sentinels stand ready. Tread carefully. Shall we begin? Goddess, watch over you. Listening. Nature. What is it you ask? Keep your guard up. Walk gently on the earth.
Ishnu Allah. I am listening. There is much to be done. The goddess gives me strength. In her light, all truths are revealed. Well, there we go. That's another upgrade. I guess I should be also using some of the resources we have to upgrade some of our items at the upgrade guy. We will fight to but I don't really know like what it's worth to spend those resources on. Like, obviously, I should I should spend all my resources on upgrading this. But because it's an epic, I feel like I'm, I might not have what I need to upgrade this. But I probably shouldn't spend too many resources on up upgrading, like, greens. I should probably do, like, blues are better. Like, maybe the trinkets. The trinkets, though, they've already been upgraded. Like, they came upgraded. So these probably were, were greens when they were level 1. Hmm. This one is an epic at level 1, so this would be worth it. Heed the voice, Sire. Let's go have a look at the upgrades and see if I can do anything with this epic helmet. There is much to be done. Uh, yeah, I need I need flight stones, and I need Welp Welpling's Dreaming Crest, and I, I have some of these. It's only going to go up a few a few points, but I just don't think it's worth it to spend points like on any of the other stuff. Oh, maybe here too. These would be good. So we do have the two epics. I'm just going to push this as far as I can. Although maybe... Well, this is 460, but it already has three points in it. Yeah, I feel like I'll, I'll keep doing the helmet. Well, that's timely. Go carefully. Some more tendies. Oh my god, I I don't know why I hate this dungeon. I, I mean, I love the original. I love the original. But I really don't like the remake of it, and it, it seems to be the one that we get the most. It's like the game knows this is probably the only one that I don't like in the expansion.
We've got a, a cook pot here. Yusa's hearty stew. That was nice of somebody. Mastery increased by 105. So it's not even like stamina and strength and stuff, it's it's just mastery. I love the original Ubaman, but I, I just don't really like this one. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's just the one that I've done the most. And so I find it the most visually boring. That could be it. I even kind of find the music of it annoying. Yeah, it's just not my fave. It's not as bad as No More God, that's true. Oh, we got a 428 neck. It's better than the 381 that we currently have, so that's pretty huge. That gets us up to 408. Yeah, I mean, we're not, we're not, we were doing better in the regular dungeons. We're not doing too great in the heroic runs as far as like our DPS. It's, it's still fun to push the buttons, but we're just not very competitive with these people. I'm sure that everyone here is, is probably in much better gear though. So, I'm gonna do some reading on fire spec, and then next time we play the mage, we're gonna try fire spec and see if that's if it's more DPS or less DPS. Or the other thing is just like you know keeping up with the group and making sure that we're always dealing damage. There's also things I don't know. Like I don't know if it's worth it to hard cast a blizzard, or if I should only be using blizzard when I can get the instant one off a of frozen orb. So there's probably like little bits of minutia about the class that I don't know, that if I knew them I'd probably be doing a little bit better. This pally tank is just like blowing everybody away on the meters. Yeah, when we can get our AoE abilities going, then then we do pretty good. I'm not I'm not really gonna pay too much attention to my DPS until I have like some decent gear, like all throughout.
the NPC dialogue. The NPC dialogue is not my favorite either. Maybe that's another reason why I don't like this one. Maybe, maybe I don't really like these characters. I know it's like blasphemy, but maybe I don't like them. Pally tanks have good uh, AoE. Yeah, I noticed that when I was uh, I was tanking some dungeons on the Pally that I'm leveling up, and I noticed they did a lot of damage. I, I just I don't think I could ever I don't think I could ever tank like actual endgame stuff though. I just don't really want the responsibility. I don't want to have to memorize the routes and all that stuff. Now maybe if I got comfortable in an expansion, if I played an expansion a lot and I and I just learned the routes naturally, then maybe I would decide to to try to tank. But I'd have to already know the routes. Yeah, this paladin man, like, oh man. He's killing everything by himself. Where's he at? Oh, he's not he's not even the tank. He's just a he's a red pally. Oh man, yeah, I thought I thought he was tanking, but he's not. Yeah, he's he's in like full 476 mythic gear. 476, 476. It's all yeah, he's Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Well, that explains a few things. Yeah, we're not going to compete with DPS like that, obviously. I wonder why he's running heroics. I wonder what would be in it for him to run heroics. is lost to time, just as you are about to be. In all timelines, you fail to stop me. Your 
efforts are impressive, but in vain. The timelines are converging. There will be only one aspect, and Mursan shall be infinite! I offer you my aid. We have spent all of our flight stones. So, yeah, that's the end of upgrading that item. Tell me of your dream. If a rock's aim is to take the tree, why is he holding? I will meet you near the primalist again. And why place his troops so far from his goal? Farak craves power. The power to subjugate. Whatever he is planning, it is a means to this end. We must go. Observe his soldiers. And learn what they are up to. But Queen Alexstrasza, I must... Farak is my responsibility now. All right, guys, I am out of time for today. I had a lot of fun today. I really appreciate you guys being here and hanging out with me as I play retail. Uh, it's been a blast, and we're going to do it again. Tomorrow, we have Season of Discovery launching. I think it's going to be like 3 o'clock in the afternoon my time. Um, so, or, or 6. It's either 3 or 6. Either way, I think I'll do a morning stream, and we'll play some more retail. I'm going to do some research on the fire spec tonight, and I'm going to get some practice in uh, trying out fire, so that's what I would like to do tomorrow morning. And then we'll do sod in the evening. Thank you guys very much for being here today. I truly do appreciate the support. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there, and take care of each other, and we will see you back in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now.